Hello once again. Today I want to talk about something out of the norm for this channel, but hopefully it is something that can be of great use to you. Whether you have health issues or trying to lose weight, it's very hard to give up on the food we love. But thankfully, our options on more healthier alternatives are available to us compared to say a decade ago. Starting off is something we often ate since our childhood. Cereal. As we grow older, it becomes more and more detrimental to our health consuming all that added sugar. For instance, a small bowl of frosted flakes have 20 grams of sugar, and that's just a single serving size. Many of us have more than just a single serving because the portion are just not enough. So we're looking at consuming about 40 to 50 more grams of sugar just in the morning. And that's assuming that's the only thing you eat. Juice, that's 20 to 30 grams of more sugar. Milk for your cereal, 12 to 20 or more grams of sugar. While regular milk and 100% fruit juices do not have added sugar in them like cereal, it is still something you would want to limit your consumption on, especially if you're diabetic. This is where Magic Spoon comes in. A high protein, no sugar added healthier alternative that also tastes great. The sweetener alternatives used here are allulose and monk fruit. All safe and well-researched ingredients that are not detrimental to our health compared to say, high fructose corn syrup. They come in various flavors such as frosted, blueberry muffin, cinnamon roll, cocoa, birthday cake, honey nut, maple waffle, peanut butter, and my personal favorite, fruity, which tastes just like Fruit Loops. These were originally only available to order online, but now available to purchase at your local supermarkets and retailers such as Walmart and Target. And because it is high in protein, you will feel much more satiated. There is also at most, just one gram of sugar per serving. Next time you go through the cereal aisle and see Magic Spoon on the shelves, please do give them a try. Next up is Jello and Pudding Mixes. While there are sugar-free alternatives to these products, they contain artificial sugar like aspartame and acesulfame potassium. Personally, I never had any issues regarding these two when consumed in moderation, but I also understand there are many people that just want to avoid them. This is where Simply Delish comes in, offering the artificial sugar-free jello and pudding alternatives. The sweeteners they use here are stevia extract and erythritol. Again, both well-researched and safe ingredients. These are unfortunately more harder to find in stores, so you most likely have to order them online. And yes, Amazon do carry them in various flavors from orange, lime, peach, to strawberries for the jello mixes, and vanilla, chocolate, butterscotch, and banana for the pudding mixes. And now we move on to condiments. Regular sauces are loaded with added sugar, and because most people do not stick to the serving size of two tablespoons, they can really add up as you put them on your burgers, chicken, and fries. G. Hughes have a great line of sugar-free sauces, but again, like the jello and pudding mixes, these contain an artificial sweetener, in this case, sucralose. I've tried various sugar-free sauces that did not contain sucralose over the years, and have found most of them not good at all, until I came across Kinder's Zero Sugar. The sweetener they use for their sauces are allulose and monk fruit, and they taste great. You'll be able to find them at some of your local supermarkets, but I've only found the original and roasted garlic flavors on the shelves. They have two more flavors available, Carolina Gold and Smoked Red Jalapeno, which can be purchased online. And finally, we come to everybody's guilty pleasure, ice cream. Who doesn't want to relax on a big comfy couch munching munching down on a big bowl of ice cream while watching our favorite shows and movies on Netflix? Unfortunately, like cereal, ice cream tends to have loads of sugar just from a small single serving size. One could easily finish off a pint without realizing it that has upwards to 90 plus grams of sugar and 1000 plus calories. But you don't need to give up on ice cream. This is where Nick's ice cream comes to the rescue. Using sweeteners such as allulose and erythritol, you're looking at 1 to 2 grams of sugar. And if you want to finish off the entire pint in one sitting, that's 200 to 350 plus calories. Now compare that to a pint of Ben & Jerry's, and the differences are quite astonishing. What's the catch though? Maybe these taste like crap, compared to its fully fat, sugar-loaded original. Not the case here, as Nick's ice cream tastes great, and just as good as the real thing. And with dozens of flavors to choose from, such as birthday cake, cookies and cream, strawberry swirl, and mint chocolate, you'll never get tired of them. However, keep in mind some of the flavors contain sorbitol in them, 
and if you have digestive issues, it is certainly something you'd like to watch out for if they do affect you. Always read the ingredient labels. All of the products mentioned here today are consumed by me and my father. The reason I bring my father up is that he has been a type 2 diabetic for nearly 40 years now. He always check his blood sugar, and these products gave him little to no impact on his readings. As for me, while I'm not a diabetic, the best prevention is to be vigilant and check my own blood sugar and be careful with what I eat. These also had little to no impact on me. Little means about a 5 to 12 point rise, which is nothing to worry over. But remember, everybody's different. If you have diabetes yourself, do check your blood sugar after consuming these to see how they affect you. And remember, everything in moderation. And it is okay to treat yourself to something big once in a while. Just don't make it a habit where it becomes weekly, and then daily. If you enjoyed this video, I'll make another one recommending more food alternatives in the future. And if you tried any of these products mentioned today, please comment below, and let me know what you think of them. As always, thank you for your time.